What's up guys, welcome to the next segment of my building a model S-Frame tutorial. So now we wanna actually put on some supports on our system. So you should have at least one spring system or one spring member in your system. I've got three nodes kind of randomly placed. You can have them in the same locations, different location, whatever. And remember we've defined our pre-stress or our stiffness constant to be 200 kilonewtons per meter. So that's where we're at right now in building our model. So next, we need to put some supports here because right now if we throw a load on here, it's just gonna shoot off into space. So we need to support it with something. So going back over to our uh, modeling tools, remember before we've done joint tool, we've done member definition tool. Now we wanna skip down to about halfway where it says support tool, give it a click. And just like how we define members, you wanna support, say the first node, just click it. Boom, there you go. Now we got a support there. And we want to support, let's do two and three, why not? So we got three supports. There we go. Now you've defined your supports at the first node, the second node, and the third node. Um, and we still got some time. So we'll actually modify the properties right now. Right click while your support tool is selected. Go to properties. And now the same thing, the same bar comes up with every different uh, member tool that you have selected, but only the properties for that specific selected tool are going to come up. So we've got our support tools here, X coordinate, Y coordinate. And now the most important thing that we need to pay close attention to is your X degree of freedom, Y degree of freedom, and Z degree of freedom. Right now, everything is fixed. By default, S-Frame puts everything as a fixed support. So your X degree of freedom is fixed, meaning no translation can happen in the X direction, and that's left and right. Y degree of freedom is fixed. That means no translation in the y direction, up and down, can be done. And then the z degree of freedom, remember this is really important, z degree of freedom is gonna be your moment rotation. So that is fixed, meaning we don't allow any movement x, any movement y, and any moment or any rotation translations on any of the nodes. So now we have a fixed support at one, fixed support at two, and fixed support at three. And we're out of time. So next video, we're going to look at how we modify those to create a pin support, a roller support, and we already know how to do a fixed support.